Hello friends, I am Jason Abraham, the Shadow Teacher 33. And we are in election season here in the United States. Everywhere I go, I see different political signs advocating for politicians, people rallying behind politicians and political parties very much like people rally behind sporting events and their favorite teams in college football, pro football, basketball, whatever the sport may be, whatever the rivalry may be, whatever the polarity may be. And these are programs that are instilled in us from a very young age, programs that we're told that we need to put a lot of emotional importance into participating in this play. But when you take a step back, take a step back, I invite you to ask yourself, is putting so much of my emotional energy into this thing, is that actually going to create a better result in my life? Can I actually significantly influence the outcome in an election, in a sporting event, by putting this heightened level of importance into it? And again, I'm not advocating not to vote. That's not what this video is about. I'm not advocating not to completely step away and not participate, though this year that has been a question I've been very seriously contemplating on. What I am advocating is just taking a step away of something that is external, something that triggers a heightened sense of emotion, something that wants your energy, that wants your emotion, wants that energy from you, and just asking the question by putting so much emotional energy into this play, this play of politics, is that making my life significantly better? Does that actually significantly contribute to making my life better and things that I actually care about. Some of you may actually care about politics. That may be your thing. That may actually be the thing you arrive at by asking this question. And I'm making this video again because the Shadow Teacher 33 channel it's about waking up and saying yes to your human potential, your authentic human potential. And part of that is we have to recognize the programs of the matrix. We have to recognize the stuff we put a lot of importance into, a lot of our energy into that, that take away from putting energy into expressing our authentic human potential. And I made videos about egregores, about pendulums, these thought forms that have no life of their own, but are created by the mass accumulation of human emotion. Thought forms and movements that take a life of their own, the more emotional energy and importance they gather. And when we put importance on something like an egregore, like a pendulum, we give power to it at the expense of our own resources. And many, again, many who are fully bought into the matrix, they are 100% content with that. They're 100% existing in the superficial level of looking at sporting events and politics as the most important themes in their lives. But not me. 
not me. I found that when we are participating unconsciously, when we are getting so excited, so heightened in this emotional state, when we are willing to put so much of our heart, our soul, our gift of our life force into these social and cultural fabrications, we pay a price for that. And if you don't care about your human potential, if you think I'm full of shit, this is all just drivel that I'm speaking, then it doesn't fucking matter to you anyway. But those of you who have felt that pain inside of yourself, who've, who've struggled to connect what's important to you and have found yourself getting swept away in these pendulums, swept away in these movements that when you look and explore deep down, you find you have no authentic connection to. It's just a movement that pokes the buttons of a feeling of incompleteness within yourself that you surrender what's left of your life to. If you fall into that category, then what I invite you to do is just take a deep breath and ask yourself some of these questions. Is this really serving me by putting so much of my energy and attention into this, by investing so much of my heart and soul into this thing that I truthfully may not have that much influence over, but yet it heavily benefits when I invest in it. And to me, that just seems like an uneven balance of power. So with that being said, I'm going to end this transmission. I'm going to go about my day. I am going to focus on what is important to me, what feeds my soul. I'm going to focus on the things the activities, the relationships, the meaning that I choose to co-create with and invest my energy into and the things that actually matter when I invest in, that actually give me a high return. And I'll see you on the other side. If this message resonates with you, if you were someone breaking free of the programs of the matrix and stepping into your own power, please like, subscribe, and share. And I love and appreciate you and what you're doing by having these conversations and asking the right questions.